Okay, so today's video for MySQL is going to be all about doing updates. How do you update or alter the data that's already been put into your database? So I have here a SQL file. If you've been following along with the series, you've got most of the data already, but um, I've added a few more rows into the movies table. Just if you want to have the most up-to-date version of what I'm going to be working with, feel free to download this. I'll put the link to this in the description for you. Um, if you don't want to update it, that's fine. I've only added about uh, four rows down at the bottom of the table. Okay. Inside of here, um, once you've got a database called Movies, you can go into that database, click the Import tab, click Choose File, select the SQL file that you download for GitHub, and click the Go button, and that will give you the latest data. All right, so we've got two tables here, Genres and Movies. We're going to be doing the updates to the Movies table. So if I click on that, here is all the data inside the table. And down here at the bottom, these are the four that I've added most recently. So if you're looking for the updated data, just look for those four records at the bottom. Okay, so doing an update. If you're using PHP MyAdmin, simple enough to browse to the data, click on the Edit button. So if I click on Edit, here's the information. And I can click in here and start typing, change this. Steven Spielberg wasn't the director for contact, and I've even misspelled his name here. So this isn't going to be the proper data. Now I can do this, but I can't take this web page and stick it into my code. We're looking to know how to write the SQL statement so we can use it in our code. So let's go to that. Um, well, one other way that you can do it from here, uh, just to show you, you can actually double click on the values here to edit them too. So I could double click and then rename this Spielberg, there we go. Now it's spelled correctly. Okay, we want to do this with the SQL tab. All right, here's the SQL tab. In the table movies, I'm looking at SQL and I'm gonna select the update button just so we can see what a basic statement looks like. And there's three parts to it. First part, update and the name of the table. Second part, the word set and then a comma separated list of all of the new values. Now you don't have to have every single column in your table here, like movie ID. Okay, I'm not gonna be changing that. I'll, I'll remove that part. Uh, let's say the uh, movie title. I'm not gonna remove, I'm not gonna change that either. So I'm just gonna have these three things. So these are the values that I'm gonna change. Now, if it was just the director, we can say, okay, well, the director, the new, name that I'm going to put inside of here is going to be Wally Fister. He's the director. Now, this last part here, the where clause, is very important with an update. If I run this statement as it is, there's nothing wrong with that. That is going to work, but I'm going to be updating the director for every single movie in my database, in my movies table, to be Wally Fister. So it's going to look like he directed every single movie. That's not what we want. We don't want to overwrite all the data. I just want to make the changes for one thing. I want to put Wally Fister in as the director for the movie Transcendence. So how do I do that? Well, with the where clause. So we're going to say where movie. Now, the best way to do it is with the movie ID because that is our primary key. That we know is going to be absolutely a unique value. But I don't know what it is, so I'm going to say movie title equals transcendence. There it is. And just to be safe, I'm going to say and year equals 2014. Because I know with those two things combined, I'm going to get a unique value inside my table. Okay, so let's run that. Looks like it worked. We'll go over and double check. Remember, with databases, there is no undo. You cannot undo it. If I ran that update statement and updated all of these directors, I would have messed up my entire database. So we have to be very careful with that. We have to make sure that we are putting unique values uh, in when we're doing the where clause. So we filter it down and only update the records that we want to update. Usually it's just one. Okay, so let's do another update now. Uh, we've got Wally Fister in here. Contact. We need to update that. Let's uh, let's change this. So we're going to update the name of the director from Steven Spielberg to Robert Zemeckis. So we have the correct one here. And let's change the genre ID. Let's make this uh, 
don't know, let's turn it into a drama instead of a sci-fi, just for the hell of it. Okay, so we'll jump over into the SQL tab. There we go, we're gonna change this to update. We're updating the movies table. And we're going to change two things. One of them being the director. We're gonna set that to Robert Zemeckis. And commas between them, we're going to update the genre ID. And we're gonna set that equal to a new number. So we're setting this to a value, but we're not sure what it is. Um, genre ID is just those numbers. If you know what the number is, fine, I could put the value here, but offhand, I don't know exactly what it is. So we're gonna do a subquery. So genre ID is gonna be equal to select genre ID from genres where genre title is, and we'll just We'll say action just for the heck of it. There we go. Now, the where clause. Once again, commas between the different values here. We've got a subquery for this one. And then we are going to, oh yeah, we should, just to be safe, always add a limit in there for that to make sure you only get one value going back to here. And then for our where clause, if we have multiple things, we use and between them. And we're going to say where movie title equals contact and year equals, don't need quotation marks because it's a number, 1997. Okay, let's run that. Looks good. And we'll scroll down, contact Robert Zemeckis and the genre ID has been updated, the director has been updated. So that's all working. Okay, great. So if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments down below. I will leave a copy of that SQL file in the description for you to link to. And as always, thanks for watching.